So I want to go across first to Parunjoy Takurta to set the stage for this debate because you've seen the kind of strong pushback there has been from the Bharatiya Janata Party on that Wall Street Journal article and the BJP's essence is that more than 700 pages associated with nationalistic causes quote unquote were taken down by Facebook if at all it leans towards one side it actually is a left liberal platform that is skewed against and acting against right wing uh, domination of the social media platform. Let's start with Paranjoy Thakuta. Rahul, I'm not surprised uh, why the Bharati Janata Party and the BJP has said what it is. In fact, when Facebook itself took down various pages, you found that it was in fact taking down Congress pages rather than BJP. This book, which Cyril, Sam and I published in April 2019, it's available in Hindi, it's available in Marathi, we have documented that the Bharti Janta Party and Mr. Narendra Modi in particular were the beneficiaries of Facebook and WhatsApp and the way these social media platforms work. We have documented that this relationship started even before Mr. Modi became the Prime Minister of India. In fact, it was happened when he was the Chief Minister. It's not surprising that uh, the BJP no, but that's also because Narendra Modi because was amongst the first people who understood the value of Facebook and Twitter and sure, social media sure. and was therefore the much is, quicker one minute, one minute. than Rohan now Gupta's party, finish. which is now trying to catch up. Yes, Paranjwa. Let me finish. The BJP has successfully used the social media better than all the political parties. There's no doubt about that. We have interviewed BJP spokespersons over here who have said, we asked them a straight question, who benefited more, BJP or Facebook? And uh, the, the answer came that both did. The fact is, Shivnath Tokral, former colleague in, in television, Ms. Aki Das, have been very, very close to Mr. Hiren Joshi, to the Bharatiya Janata Party. They've been regularly visiting. Now, what has actually hurt them is obviously the internal information that within Facebook, there were people who believed that individual associated with the BJP were propagating hateful speech and incendiary speech. And Ms. Das and others overruled those objections. And Menlo Park went along with them. Menlo Park is the headquarters of Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook. Across the world, whether it be in Myanmar, whether it be in New Zealand, whether it be in other parts of the world, Facebook and WhatsApp has been used far more by those in power, the ruling establishment, not the left wing, but the right wing. This is the trend. Okay. Across so the let's globe. get Amit and Malviya sure, to counter I'm this, and I want to start. By the way, I wanted to speak to Mr. Malviya about this. He didn't want to talk to me before the book was published. Okay. So we'll deal with that, Paranjoy, in just a moment. Amit Malviya, here is the charge that we are dealing with at this moment. That earlier this year, in about March, it was found that T. Raja Singh, uh, who's a BJP MLA, had put out. Uh, a post against Rohingya Muslims, calling them traitors and uh, asking for mosques to be brought down. Facebook employees who were policing the platform found that to be a piece that violated Facebook standards and a Facebook business executive put pressure on the regulatory team so that this post wouldn't be taken down because they were afraid of repercussions from the Bharatiya Janata Party. How do you respond? to the charge that's being flung the BJP's way. Amit Malve. Well, Rahul, first of all, uh, let me at the outset clarify that Ranjit did reach out to me for his book and I chose not to speak to him because he had already made up his mind and he was only looking at reasons to justify his findings. So I leave it at that. Coming to this whole idea of hate speech, who decides what is hate speech? It is the constitutional framework and it is the extent rules of our country that decide what is hate speech. It can't be a platform or a private enterprise that will set the rules of the game here. And whatever be the rules of the game have to apply consistently, whether it is Sonia Gandhi or anyone else. We have said consistently that the riots that we saw in Delhi followed after Sonia Gandhi made that hateful speech about our Parki Ladai on the CAA. It was broadcasted live on Facebook so does that make Facebook complicit with Congress as far as spreading hate speech is concerned? My uh, reason is perhaps not, but it is an argument that now finds merit because Rahul Gandhi has gone to town with it. 
So if there has to be a debate around hate speech, it must start with Sonia Gandhi. She's the fountainhead of it. And she's been at the helm of the Congress party and has overseen a lot of these communal rights all over the country and during that period.